Growing up, I knew there was a difference between a bucket list and a wish list. A bucket list is something that you will inevitably accomplish versus a wish list is you're never sure but you actively think about it. You wish that it hopefully will come true. Three weeks ago, I got to change one of my wish list items to a bucket list item. I was finally able to afford the opportunity to travel and attend WrestleMania. WrestleMania is the place where I got to finally see a rare appearance by the owner of the World Wrestling Entertainment, Vince McMahon, followed by the host for the evening. Even if you don't know wrestling, you know exactly who Hulk Hogan is. I got emotional. It was one of the rare times I traveled to a uh, state outside of my immediate tri-state area. I got to go to Florida. And Florida has what I like to call over the last 13 months, the new slogan, if you die, you die. And this story will unpack how that almost happened. I attend the event, I get emotional, thinking that I'm amongst a socially distanced 12,000 people in the stadium. And I couldn't believe that I get to experience something that to me was just something on the television. After 20 years of being a fan, to attend something of that grandeur was tremendous. I arrive home, by home I mean my motel for the night, around 11.30 p.m. Even though you would think I'd be wired, I'm exhausted from cheering, from crying, from talking to people from New Orleans to Colorado to Delaware and Maryland, all basking in the glory of this legitimate rare opportunity. So instead of being wired, I'm exhausted. I have fanboyed my way straight to exhaustion. I fall asleep in my motel on the top floor of this rinky dink place that as soon as you walk in, you think, huh, this might, how, this might be how I die tonight. I fall asleep and within 30 minutes, I get a large, uh, not a large, a loud banging on the door and I'm immediately concerned, thinking like, oh, I'm about to be shanked. And Mama didn't raise no fool. So I kept asking who was at the door, and I didn't get an answer, which made me more concerned because I'm exhausted, I'm groggy, and I'm scared. I eventually hear a woman's voice, so I assume, worst case scenario, at least hopefully I can outrun her. I open the door, and it's someone in head-to-toe camouflage with a bulletproof vest. It is a SWAT team member telling me that there is a gunman in the hotel a few yards away from you who has taken a woman and a child hostage and he is actively opening fire. I am told to pack my things immediately and leave. I pack up my belongings. I pack up the Subway sandwich. I paid for it. I'm taking it with me. I don't know how long this is going to last. As soon as I leave the top floor, I'm thinking, I'm unaware of how to properly exit here. Do I take the elevator or do I take the stairwell? Because I don't know where the gunman is, and neither do they. They are trying to find out where this specific person is hiding. As I walk down the hallway, I see two more SWAT team members now providing more clarity that I'm not dreaming this. And I asked the SWAT team member, how should I leave? And he actually looks at me very upset and says, go back to your room, lock the doors. I go back to my room, I close the blinds, I lock the doors, I get a chair and I sit in the bathroom. Typically when you sit in the bathroom, you're going for a very different purpose. I eat my Subway sandwich, I'm scared, I immediately start charging my phone, thinking I don't know if shit's actually gonna go down, metaphorically and literally considering I'm in the bathroom. I get become so exhausted after multiple hours, considering the fact that the context is I was just on an arena. I've been live, I've been wired since 4 p.m. It is now 3 a.m. And I have to check out in a few hours so I could take my flight back to the wonderful state that is Pennsylvania. And I eventually force myself to fall asleep thinking that I'm not gonna be able to survive in an airport knowing how scared and exhausted I am. I fall asleep, I wake up around 7 a.m. knowing that I still don't know what the update is. I don't know if things are gonna be delayed. I text my boss and say, how's your Monday? I need to tell you something. I might come to work late today. And then I find out that multiple shots took place during the time that I was asleep and that they were finally able to capture the, capture the man. And then as I was checking out, 
about an hour or so later, a news reporter comes up to me, me repping my WrestleMania t-shirt, and, and looks at me and says, do you want to give a statement as to what happened here last night? And I said, yes. I needed to do my Jerry Springer type of venting. You are not going to believe what I came here for. And the irony is that for months I joked about how Florida, if you die, you die. And apparently this almost came true. So lights out was my key to survival and my key to sanity. I was able to come home to the beautiful state of Pennsylvania and three weeks later share with you one of the weirdest stories of my life. But hey, I still got to go to WrestleMania. Thank you.